Welcome family and friends. What a great day. We are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Esty and Tyler. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. Esty and Tyler have spent years, actually 10 years, eight months, and four days, getting to know each other. And we now bear witness to that, to what their relationship has become. Today they will affirm this bond by becoming husband and wife. Esty and Tyler will mark their transition as a couple, not only by celebrating the love between themselves, but by also celebrating the love between all of us, including the love of their parents, siblings, extended family, and best friends. Esty and Tyler, take this moment to turn to those who love you and acknowledge their support. Wow, it is so wild to finally be here. I really can't get over it. I've been saying it all day, I can't believe we are in this moment. This day is actually here. And it doesn't feel momentous to be here today just because we've been planning on it for a year and a half since Tyler got down on one knee or because of how long these two have been together, which is substantial. <laughs> and not just because when Esty and I were kids, we would sit in the family room together and watch Say Yes to the Dress on TLC on the weekends and judge everyone's choices, <laughs> sharing our thoughts and dreams of the dresses we would want. And now she's sitting here in the most beautiful dress anyone could ever imagine. But I think more than anything, it's such a full circle moment to be here, having just watched my sister get married to the love of her life, looking back at when I was three and she was seven, and we got to witness our own parents get married. We got to see the commencement of a shining example of love and mutual respect and teamwork that has continued to shine for 24 years. And I gotta say, not much has changed since that day. On their wedding day, Esty and I were flower girls. We were literally just talking about this earlier. And Esty walked down the aisle with her little flower basket, taking one petal at a time, just daintily sprinkling them as she went along. And then I took like two big fistfuls and just threw them on the ground and that was it. <laughs> Uh, and I think that image right there is pretty emblematic of both of our personalities and our styles. I mean, she hasn't even like sweat a droplet today and I've already used Tide to go and there's some mysterious stain on this piece of paper that I don't even know where it came from and she looks perfect. <laughs> so yeah, not much has changed. Although we have grown and experienced life and learned lessons, we still get to look at both of our parents and see their admiration for one another that has guided us through our lives. And now here we are, 
witnessing the commencement of Esty and Tyler's very own shining example of their love and mutual respect and teamwork that they will shine onto their children one day. Started a fire, got you in my lungs now. I learned to speak your native tongue. Her California sun rise, it feels like I've been living inside a dream. Intoxicated by these feelings. Ooh, got me falling. Tyler's younger, much cooler brother. But if you didn't know, we are a very competitive people. Uh, and you grow up with some intense battles, some physical fighting uh, a lot of times. But, you know, it stemmed from being on the basketball court at an early age. When you grow up in Indiana, it's either basketball or detasseling corn in the field. <laughs> of, which, of which I never, I never detasseled. Tyler did every summer, and he doesn't let me forget it to the day. <laughs> Speaking of not letting me forget it, some of you might remember some eight months ago, he made a speech at my wedding. He was really happy to tell everybody that I've never beaten him in a head-to-head -head race, which is a big deal when you're a running family, when lightning literally struck to cancel the race, so he technically won. Well, I wanted to tell everybody here, you've never beaten me in a game of golf, which includes Wednesday's rounds. So just setting the story straight. But honestly, you know, it was that kind of lesson that, you know, having you out there that a big brother that wants to spend time with you uh, was really what meant the most to me is what I tell myself as I think about that block every night. <laughs> But I, honestly, I, I would not have the drive I do, uh, the success I've had in running, the career that I've had, if, if you weren't there pushing me, just, just being the support, being the mentor at every step of the way. And I know that, you know, I've had a, a true role model growing up. Uh, somebody, you know, drive me to school, make sure that I was okay at just anything I was doing. And I know that, you know, everyone says their big brother is the best, but, you know, mine is genuinely better than everybody else's. So. <laughs> He's amazing. But, you know, maybe one day I'll stop being a little brother, but not this week. You need to pay for the round of golf. This, <laughs> thank you. It's been done. It's over. It's paid for. <laughs> what I love about Tyler and Esty uh, together is that, you know, I see the same role model that Tyler was with me, that you are with Ellery, uh, just being that older sibling. And you're just, always supportive to both of you at any cost, you know, our number one fans and just there if we need anything, any support, any trouble. And, you know, Esty is, as we've heard, incredibly patient for having to put up with my brother's lack of ability to make a decision. <laughs> Literally, it's a pro con list of the net happiness of a decision <laughs> to make sure we're making the right choice for breakfast. <laughs> but <laughs> these two complement each other so well. I mean, just how organized you are, Esty, how responsible, how organized, uh, how thoughtful, and how organized you are. 
is our trip to Barcelona was down to the minute. <laughs> we had a great time, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. But, you know, I know that these traits, they, they stem from being that older sibling. You know, you, you want to pave a path for us to make it more comfortable, easy for us. And, you know, you just say, you share the same caring mindset, that mentality as my brother. And I couldn't be happier to welcome you into the family. I simply cannot wait to bully your kids on the basketball court. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. But, you know, I, I want to leave SDU with, you know, one word of advice for my, you know, being with my brother here. It's not just the NBA. It's the Pacers really have a chance next year, Tyler. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just glad to be up here and everybody here meeting the families. Cheers to you guys, the happy couple. I love you both. Cheers. I think we were in the ice cream section. You teasing me good and make a selection. I know what I want right now. Know what I need. Don't know what I'd do if I hadn't bumped into you. You make things better. I just wanted you to know that I'm not letting you go. Our story started on a typical Saturday night out on, in campus in 2011. But what wasn't typical was how you m made the first move. You went for it by holding my hand. In that moment, my world shifted forever. It was an unexpected nudge that moved me closer to my future. Over the next 10 years, I'd come to learn how loyal, intelligent, and goofy you are. Also, that there's no such thing as too much ESPN. <laughs> I'd also come to learn just how much I could love someone. And here we now stand, a decade in the making, still holding hands. It's a simple gesture that signifies so much. And from this day forward, I promise to never let go. I promise to always be by your side when you need support, to be challenged or a good laugh. I'll be your forever hype woman. I promise I'll continue to cry enough for the both of us <laughs> at TV commercials, birthday cards, Instagram posts of wiener dogs. <laughs> I've got it all covered. I promise to practice patience, keyword being practice, I know I can count on you to keep me grounded in moments when it's needed. I promise to put you first. You are my favorite person and family, and I've got you, and you've got me. I promise to always dance with you and have fun. I know our life together will be filled with both. Thank you for making the most unexpected first move and changing my life for the better. I love you. SD. Wow, we made it. <laughs> it seems like almost yesterday, we were in Greencastle, dancing together, beginning our relationship, and figuring out what we wanted to do with our lives when we graduated from the small liberal arts college that changed us both forever. We've come such a long way since then. We've been through long distance relationships, twice, career changes and promotions, joy, grief, loss, and everything in between. What feels like a lifetime crammed into a decade at the same time feels just like yesterday. And yet you are still the same woman that I fell in love with back in that small town in Indiana. 
and began to build a future with in Chicago. I love your dedication and commitment to the things that are most important to you. When you set a goal for yourself, you don't lose focus until you achieve it. In this way, you make me want to be a better person. Looking ahead, I promise to always do my best to listen and to be present in the moment. Each day with you is a gift, and I promise to cherish each of them. I promise to do my best to bring the best version of myself to our relationship each and every day. I am not perfect, but I promise I will do my best to continually learn and grow from my mistakes. I promise to always support and honor your ambitions wherever they take us in life. If we are blessed with a family of our own, I promise I'll make whatever sacrifices are necessary to put our children in the best possible position to succeed in the same way that our parents did for us. I promise to love you, respect you, and care for you until we each grow old or for as long as God allows us to remain on this earth. You are everything to me. Thank you for forever changing my life some 10 years ago. I'm so excited for what's ahead. I love you. First of all, I'd like to say it's such a joy to see all of you here tonight to celebrate Esty and Tyler's marriage. Thank you for taking the time and making travel arrangements, whether from a long distance or from across town, in order to be here with us tonight. We really appreciate seeing all of you. Thank you. We'd also like to thank Tyler's parents for putting on such a beautiful brunch for our rehearsal yesterday. It was lovely, and I'm not quite sure where they're sitting, but there they are. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. It was very, very sweet and lovely. We loved it. Thank you. So on September 25th, 1990, I can't look at you. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Esty was born, and my heart was completely stolen. Being her mother is and has been such a special gift. Many of you here know Esty pretty well as a keen observer. She's been this way since she was a baby, always watching and weighing the situation. When she would see a group of children at play, she would always watch and decide if she would join in or stand back. And if she joined the group, she nearly immediately took over and became the social director. <laughs> Esty also tends to be a bit indecisive, although lately she's been amazing with all these decisions she's had to make. <laughs> she's, she weighs out all of the possibilities. Going shopping with her was always a test of patience, helping her to decide between two nearly identical items. That's why she preferred shopping with Barry, because he would just buy them both for her. <laughs> no decision necessary. I have to say that Esty was an easy child in the fact that she was a rule follower. When she was small, I told her that a woman shouldn't consider marriage until she was at least 30 years old. She looked at me and said, but mommy, that's so old. <laughs> well, obviously she considered it a rule and took it to heart, and here we are today. <laughs> Little did we know that she would meet Tyler, who is just like she is. Highly observant, watchful, a bit indecisive, and a rule follower. Now we know why it took them 10 years to make the decision to tie the knot. <laughs> I couldn't be happier than to have Tyler in our family, and this is one decision I believe you both got right.
Tyler, we love you, and we're so happy you've joined our family legally. <laughs> Well, since you're both t tried and true rule followers, I have a few more rules for you to abide by. Listen to each other without trying to find a solution to the problem. The answer is already there, and sometimes a person just needs to vent. Say I love you as say I love you to each other every day. Laugh as often as possible and never take yourselves too seriously. Cheers to my beautiful Esty and her wonderful Tyler. Oh yes, one last very important rule. Remember to call your mother. weeks ago, I finished this speech, had it all lined out, practiced it, went through it, took some things out. I went on the internet, which tells you how a father should have a speech. So I had to take all the stories I wanted to say about you, sweetie, away, so to make sure I wasn't embarrassing her. And then on Wednesday evening, my wife said, oh, do you want to hear my speech? And I go, sure. So nine out of my 10 points went away from my speech <laughs> on Wednesday, right? So I've got uh, something here and I hope it, it makes some sense and it rolls along, okay? What's really fascinating, and Tyler, this is a little bit of a story for you before I even get to Esty, is that uh, you're marrying into an interesting family, all right? Uh, you have a beautiful mother and two gorgeous and beautiful daughters, right? And they come from a background, I call them the Nanini girls, which is, uh, Elisa's mother's side of the family. And uh, I call them the ninny girls because of their fierceness. Let's call it that in that respect. Um, they're terrific and they're very strong women, right? And I want to congratulate you in marrying a very strong woman because it takes a lot to be married to a strong woman, which means you need to be a strong man and confident in yourself and not compete with someone that could be your equal or even above. And of course, they're my daughters, and they're above, right? So, so thank you. So they have, uh, they have intelligence, beauty, and finesse. So it's really fascinating when you have someone who has strength like she has, and if you accept her for the strength that she has, all of a sudden that makes you a stronger man. And as you get stronger, the woman you're with who married you for your strengths also gets stronger and loves you even more. So it's really fascinating if you don't fight it and you go with it, how much better both of you come out to be. You become a better man I have over the last 24 years and a father, which has been great. <laughs> so stop kidding me. So, so Tyler, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you decided to, to marry a very strong woman. Uh, it's a great challenge. It's worthwhile. You'll find more about yourself and understand more about yourself than ever, okay? Because that's a real key. So Tyler, I have to apologize to you because it's taken her over 24 years 
to make a decision to have another man in her life. <laughs> now, I thought I did a good job. I thought I was okay. But it took her a long time to get say, well, I want one other man, another man around. And obviously, she found a man strong enough that she could be with and love. I really appreciate that. Esty, you've been wonderful. You, you've loved me freely. Uh, you've trusted our relationships after the 50 questions, and I appreciate that. And we've had just a wonderful, wonderful adventure. I'm very proud to have Tyler as my son-in-law, and I wish you both the most love. Cheers. Cheers.